Welcome to High School Corner, home of the Stratton Eagles, and sponsored by Lake Plastic Football Dynasty. Okay, uh, it's been a while since uh, we've been in full swing. This week, just every, just about every team played this week, except for I think one. Unfortunately. We had some technical difficulties, so I'm unable to uh, show you a lot of the highlights, but we do have um, all the results of scores and everything. So we don't have any video on the uh, spreading, although they did win their second game this year, beating it with little. 38-28. Better offensive games. And, <clears throat> and looking at the uh, rest of their provenance, you see uh, some blowouts. <laughs> uh, and looking at standings, you see Stratton moves up out of the bottom two. Over to the northeast. <clears throat> we have uh, the defending champions, Bangor, the Rams, taking on the Riot, <laughs> the Red Riot, and in what is considered to be a big rivalry. And you can see the uh, numbers of the game, the players of the game, and which uh, the Rams lost. And. Uh, now with two losses, they put their playoff chances in deep jeopardy. But it was a good game, 14-7. It, it was 7-7 for most of the game. Got a little bit of highlights from it. Videos, that is. And the rest of the uh, province, more blowouts. 84 to nothing, 70 to nothing, just blowouts. And the standings has got four unbeaten teams already. So so far. Over in the southwest, you see the scores. Uh, 50, was that 56 to nothing, 62 to 14, or blowouts. Thornton Academy is still undefeated. Portland is hot on a trail. Players of the week. And over in the southeast, we got a little bit, a little video. <clears throat> I do believe this is uh, Waterville and uh, Coney, Coney High. Uh, both teams came in undefeated, so it was like a big game. And. Uh, it was tight most of the game. Came down to the last play of the game. This little last throw right here. And Waterville walks away with the with the win. They're still undefeated. <clears throat> and most likely they're going to win their problem. I don't see... That's gonna do it for this Anyone that could beat them, but you know how these games can go. We're talking about high school, high school kids, so never know how these games turn out. But 17 to 12 was a, it was a pretty good game. It's a pretty good game. Some big plays made, like this long pass right here. That was late in the game. In this play right here, and this is when the Rams started to make their comeback. And <clears throat> those are the highlights for this week in high school play. Hopefully, uh, we can fix that for next week and have more highlights. Uh, other than Hyde beating someone 90 to nothing, 
uh, the rest of their games was pretty pretty good pretty tight all right let's check out the prospects got to put my spectacles on <clears throat> Nick Williams okay I do believe we're gonna stop uh, putting a lot of time into this player with four spots down for this guy and and going further down the ladder with this guy so feel like we might be wasting our time trying to trying to get this this guy Scott Parks <clears throat> although we're number two <clears throat> we look at the fact that I'm going down with this guy so we don't want to continue to try to put so much effort into him now with Carlos Carlos <clears throat> we're at number two and we going up on his on his uh, board so we want to hang in there there and then Campbell wide receiver looking at this cat right here we got a nice lead everyone else is falling down uh, Jones middle linebacker <clears throat> looking at this guy he got a lead <clears throat> nice lead and everybody's going down so uh, and then Andy little old Andy from Utah this looks like we got a big lead for this cat right here so and it's, everybody's stock is going down with him so I, <clears throat> these last uh, three I think we definitely got uh, Sears uh, Jones and Campbell I do believe they're gonna be locks and um, as for Chambers we still got a shot our stock is getting better with him but Parks and Williams uh hmm. Parks and Williams that's <laughs> sound like some kind of a retailer store uh Parks and Williams <clears throat> our stock is going down with those guys so we might need to just give those guys up let them go on and do what they're gonna do unless they don't make a decision and then we put all our points into them on the offseason but I don't even want to do that. I don't even want to do that. And they can't sign. But we've been after those two most of the season. And they don't want to sign by now. Or at least by the end of the regular season. Then maybe they need to just go on somewhere, and somewhere else. And we need to go on somewhere else. So I'm not going to keep on trying to chase out the people. Especially when the more people I bring in, <clears throat> the more people I bring in, the more people I'm gonna have to cut. So I don't like cut. So, so I only got nine seniors and got more than nine recruits already signed with three more on the way. So yeah, there's gonna be some cuts. And I don't like that. So it's not that big a deal if we don't get it. All right, previewing an upcoming game. Whoa, we are taking on Delaware State, which I do believe is going to be the toughest game that Lake Plastic has played so far. These guys are pretty good. So it's going to be a tough, tough, tough matchup for these guys. <clears throat> so, uh, so far, no major injuries. So that's been good all year long. Checking out coach's uh, skill tree. And checking out stories from around the 
Nation. Miami beating Florida State. That's always a good game. They should be in the SEC, but hey, that's just my personal opinion. Happy to be home. <clears throat> Knock down TCU. Be able to jump back. So see. And uh, Wisconsin. Trying to get that. I think they got a guy for the Harsman, ain't they? And uh, that's the pack. Action of the pack. Houston. Do you belong in the top 10? We'll find out. Georgia squeezed by Florida. Oh, ooh, we got to play Florida, too. SEC. LSU and Alabama. Best game of the year. Old school football right there. Uh, let's see. Players of the week. Let's see who got it nationally. Look at the ones that got it. An independent the quarterback from Notre Dame is pretty good. And, and ooh, see how we stack up uh, stat wise. If you see our quarterback, this is what happen when you have a bunch of guys playing quarterback. <laughs> Number 10 uh, uh, running back so far. Uh, you know, Marcus is uh, 257. <laughs> Garrett is way down the list on the tackles and interception. We ain't breaking no records this year, that's for sure. All right. Well, that's it. Let me see you next time. In our next episode. Thanks for watching. We'll be on to Delaware to take on Delaware State. So you have a good one and we'll see you next time.